Hey guys, today's video is a simple three-step progression to help you learn faster flip turns. Part of this progression uses a kickboard with a buddy in the water, so find a friend to help you out with that step. A common mistake that many of us have with flip turns is not taking advantage of the wall and realizing how hard you can actually push off. You should think of a flip turn as an opportunity to gain speed and power instead of slowing down and anticipating the turn. It should be a fluid motion to the point where others can't even see your feet touch the wall before you've already pushed off. Have you ever noticed the fastest sprinters in the world like Caleb Dressel attack the wall with such speed you hardly know it was a turn? Slowing down on the approach, not kicking enough, finishing your stroke too soon and floating, and holding your head up before flipping will all make it a lot more difficult to efficiently and powerfully get off the wall. The first step in this progression is a streamlined squat jump. Think of pushing off the wall in your flip turn exactly like a squat jump. A lot of power is needed in order to perform a squat jump correctly and it's the same power you'll need for pushing off the wall. Try several squat jumps with a streamline to understand what it will feel like when you push off the wall in the water. Since trying new flip turns can be a little tricky, like accidentally hitting your heels or feet on the edge of the wall, a good step is working on the flip and push off with a buddy holding a kickboard. Using a kickboard ensures that you push off immediately after your feet hit it instead of your feet sliding too far down the wall. The kickboard also allows for less resistance than a hard wall, which makes it easier to work on continuous form without worrying about pushing off something so unforgiving. The person holding the kickboard needs to keep it vertical with a firm straight arm grip. Keep the top edge at the surface and the rest below the surface. Since the idea is to not kill your friend holding the board, take it slow and work on making your flip one continuous motion. Swim freestyle towards the kickboard. On the final stroke, begin to lower your head in sync with your pole. Keep kicking and go into the flip. Beginning to lower your head before starting the flip helps move your turn into a continuous motion, but I did notice when I made this adjustment I needed to get a little closer to the board or I would be too far away, so keep that in mind. After practicing with the kickboard and more comfortable with the distance, the final step is doing a regular flip turn on the wall. It might take you some time to get used to lowering your head with the final stroke as you go into the turn, but you'll soon realize how much faster you can get off the wall. Let me know in the comments below if this drill helps your sprint freestyle turns. I know it definitely helped mine. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Bye!